guys, you've been learning all about this master plan that God put into place and about how Jesus can change your life. We're back at this construction scene today. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get to work. Right, team? Okay, come on, guys. We've got a lot of work today. Matt, you and Chris, you grab that thing of a bob and move it on over here. Kathy, you and Megan, get the what, uh, what ifs and get to work moving that pile of dirt. What's a what's it? Oh, no. Oh, come on, DP. I'm tired. I don't want to today. Can't we just sit and listen to directions some more? Yeah, you're really good at giving directions. Plus, we're all ready to listen. Hey guys, if you look up in the clouds, you can see Pastor Graham's face. Look! Team, come on. You've got your instructions now. It's time to get to work. Boss, we're here and ready to go. We got the instructions and now ready to put them in action. Well, at least someone's ready to get to work. You know, this reminds me a lot of our Bible lesson today. Jesus gave his followers a lot of instructions while he was here on earth. Everything from love your neighbor to take up your cross and follow me. Some of these instructions were plain as day. And sometimes you really ought to watch and think, what does that mean? Does she mean that thing, my Bob, or that thing, my Bob? Well, whether his instructions were clear as a bell or took a little thought, they all had something in common. You couldn't just listen to them. You had to follow them and actually do them. Listen to what Jesus said in Matthew 7. Anyone who listens to me, to my teaching, and follows it is wise, like a person who builds their house on a solid rock. Though the rains come and the torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it's built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey, it's like foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and the floods come and the winds beat against that house, it'll collapse with a mighty crush. When we hear God's word and we do it, it's like we're building our lives on a solid foundation. Just look at all these awesome buildings going up behind us. The builders, they knew exactly what to do and what if they want the building to stand up to storms and wind and even tornadoes, that they have to start with a solid foundation. That's exactly what it's like when we hear God's Word and we do what's written in it. We build our lives on our solid foundation. Sometimes we all need a little extra motivation and motivation is my specialty. You guys get to work! Like I said, be a doer, guys. See you next week. Bye.